Good afternoon, friend. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory Saturday Grab Bag. We're going to play some Risk of Rain 2 today. It's been about, well, nearly two years since we played this on stream, really. Um, and they did just release an update about a month or so ago. They added the Bandit as a playable character. He's quickly become one of my faves because it's, uh, it's just fun to play as pretty much a raw damage output character, not having to, to worry too much about things. So we're going to do that. We're going to play on Monsoon, of course, because there's no other way to play. That's not true. There is plenty of other ways to play. And turn on Command, Sacrifice, and Swarms artifacts, and then we're just gonna loop as long as we can. Uh, we're, so we're gonna loop until we get overwhelmed, until we get bored, or until we crash the game outright. Um, I think the longest run I've ever had went about three hours or so, and the game was still keeping up okay. It didn't crash or anything, so uh, we'll see if we can maybe break it a little bit. We'll, we'll try our best anyways, we'll try our best. It, it really depends on how lucky we get um, with item drops and sacrifices turned on. Uh, whether or not our first run is going to be able to go anywhere. But we'll do our best. We'll, we'll do our best. There is a, a particular build I do like to start out with, so we just need to hope that we get the, the items to support it. I guess we'll just find out shortly here. I don't know if they adjust the drop rate when you have swarms turned on or not. I would guess they do, since uh, otherwise it would be just way too much. There'd just be way too many items dropping everywhere. But yeah, we'll see what we can come up with here. I might stick around in the first stage a little bit to, to get a little bit beefed up here, but they're not going to be dropping items for me. It's really not worth uh, hanging about. Hoping to find a drone or two as well. I'll take the counter turret at the very least. So the character that we're using now is the bandit. This is the one they just added about a month ago, I want to say. Uh, it's a holdover from Risk of Brain 1 as well. Very much uh, a close in brawler. His little conceit here is 100% uh, crits when attacking from behind. So, we will try to do as much of that as we can. Get our first either green or yellow drop there. I kind of hope it's a yellow drop. I'm really a, a big fan of the yellows, but no. Looks like it's going to be green. Oh, got a nice one there. Okay. Let's, let's start off with crowd control. Because especially with swarms turned on, crowd control is extremely important. But I do like starting off with the missile. <laughs> for our first tier two. Just because it ups our damage output a little bit as well as giving us uh, a bit better distance and kind of incidental crowd control as well. gas can, and since they tweaked the gas can to do a little uh, AoE explosion as well, it just made it even more powerful. Looks like another tier 2 drop. Great. Normally I would go for crit heals, but I think we can probably play this a bit dangerously. Let's clear it out a little bit. Let's do explodey corpses. <laughs> do like me the explodey corpses. Another really good crowd control item, especially since they're double spawns with swarms turned on. So not exactly a great level one with only three item drops, but meh. The further we go along, the more frequently enemies will appear, so the more frequently we'll get new items. always like to start off with uh, attack items versus defensive or movement or whatever. Best defense is a strong offense, most times. We will want some mobility items at some point, too. Notably, a double jump and a speed boost, because, uh, well, <laughs> we're not moving too fast. I 
Nice, they're spawning the big lizard men already. Oop, heard something drop. Oh, it's just a coin. Oop, that was a big hit, sir. I don't really need any more coin drops. I've already got four Nadio. Oh, nice. Good tier two. Uh, let's see. Uh, now I believe I will go crit heals, just in case. I saw the teleporter over there. Alright, we're good. Oh, and then there's a challenge of the mountain shrine, too. Hell yeah, we're gonna turn as many of those on as we can find. More boss drops is super good. Alright, I don't know if I want to mess around too much more, though. Okay, well, we'll get the double boss drop, and that'll have to be enough. Oh, and it's those fuckers. Um, that could be a small problem, actually. Yep. <laughs> wow, alright. They, uh... Busted out the big boys right away. Good job. Good job, good job. Okay, well... First runs usually aren't the greatest. <laughs> well, no matter. No matter. That's what happens when you get shafted on items the first level. I did the last time. Still gonna speed through the first stage just to advance our stuff a little bit. Oh, there was a mountain thing down there. Dang it. Should've looked a little bit further. Ooh, well, or I can just get wrecked because I got bodied into a wall. Nice job. <laughs> nice job. Okay. Oh, that's right. Shake off the the bad early runs. Tier two drop. Get a little something to our name before we move on. Okay, that's better. Turrets are drones, though. Oh, wait. Well, speaking of. Gunner or heal? Heal is actually the 
nice. Oh, nice mountain shrine right next door, too. Excellent. Careful with this though. So those dudes focus me down. Pretty much done. Okay, it's gonna crowd control and have enough mobility to make our way around. Ooh, we did get a yellow out of that boss drop though. Excellent. <clears throat> Grab that as soon as I can. Good. Alright, now we're getting established. Good tier 2 drops as well. balance off a little bit more towards survivability too since our last couple runs haven't been great. There you go, what is that? Nine, ten items out of the first level instead of two? Eleven. Eleven with the uh, one yellow. around to get a that missile drone. you get for each enemy kill when swarms is active. that one really we already had one oh, well double up on our passive healing Let's say no to another drone at some point too
that a... It's another yellow drop. Damn. All right. A little bit lucky on that. Usually those are pretty rare. Magma ball one. Hey, Firetron, how you doing? Thanks for the resub. Much appreciated, as always. I like that. Most of the basics covered on our items, so we know we can be a little bit less specific about what we grab, especially if we're in danger. But we'll still want to keep it pretty diverse. Afford to stack, stack upon stack upon stack. And if we get real lucky, soon it'll become such a gosh dang mess up in here that we'll hardly have time to even look at an enemy before it vaporizes. That's probably not going to happen for another couple stages. And assuming we get a tier 3 item at some point, too. Yeah, I think that might be all of it, right? Alright, not bad. It's nine minutes in, we're already on the second row of items. That's why I like having the sacrifice artifact turned on. It's so much easier to get super powerful real quick. You don't have to rely on the chests actually popping in at a reasonable rate. to have to get a, a quickie equipment drop and grab that drone. Such luck that it seems. Mark it for later. Excellent. Too bad. Too bad no usable items. Be kinda rad at this point. Kinda hoping for another yellow item drop. Oh well. other item drops, though. Since we'll be moving on to stage 4 after this, which should have a guaranteed tier 3. Either getting it will depend on which level 4 we get. 
Personally hoping for Abyssal Depths, that one's the easiest one to handle. Honestly, they're all not too bad. Three stages in and no, no equipment item drops. Hmm. Oh well. Just gotta deal with what we're dealt. Oop, can we get this one quick? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Just pick something. Doesn't matter what it is. All right, what do we get? Ah, uh, Siren's Call. Probably my least favorite of the level 4s, honestly. But hey, another equipment drone. Look like a missile drone as well? Yeah. Alright, at least we've got a pretty good marker up here. So now we just need to find us some eggs and then smash them and then beat to what is it? Uh, Alloy drone thing. That'll give us our tier three. Particularly threatening, but if we do not see it in time, that can be a problem. We at least have enough money to get the missile drone out of here. Excellent. Definitely want that. Ooh, it's an emergency drone? Nice. Okay. Don't really have anything else to spend our money on except busted drones and shit, so the more of that we can get, the better. But we're going to be in a particular amount of danger until probably loop two. Doesn't hurt to have it on our side regardless. We don't leave this without that tier 3 item, though. If it means wasting a bunch of time here. They're doubled up because of swarms. Just need to fight off these two fucks. Which 
Shouldn't be that bad, but they can be a little bit silly. They start focus firing on my shit here. Ooh, especially get slowed down by those pieces of shit. Okay, one down. Of course, our first tier three is always Ceremonial Dagger. <laughs> like, always. It's so stupidly powerful. Alright, there we go. There's finally a use item drop. So now things will start disappearing before we even get to uh, point at them. I need to find where that equipment drone was so we can dump our use item into it. It was up here by the first banner that we dropped. Somewhere. What was it? Ah, over here. Right. Okay. Now we can get out of here. <laughs> okay, that'll be two for here. Which might make this a bit troublesome, but we do have enough items now that we shouldn't have too much of a hassle with it. I hope. Let's see how many drones and shit we've got, too. for a couple more and then we'll be on our way. Alright, let's go. Hmm, okay. This will be a little bit troublesome. Always the elemental variants of <clears throat> various bosses that become a small issue. Especially when I can't get a good <laughs> place to hide from them sometimes. Well, that was a, a bit more trouble than I would have wanted, but we get so much shit out of it. Including, it looks like, two more yellow items. Three more yellow items, my goodness. Okay. That's awesome. Okay. Decide what I want my last one to be. Is that 
got pretty much all the ones that I want. Now it's just a matter of cleaning up. Hmm. <laughs> Probably beef up our survival as best we can. Get some more helpers too. We have everything that we came in here with, plus a few more. Make sure none of my drones got bopped outside my visual range here. Looks like we might be clear. Alright. Good. Let's get out of here. We're in real good shape to be at looping pretty quick here now. Is there a reason you do not get max crit right away if you can choose? Uh, yes. With this character, the bandit, he crits on every attack that you land on the backside of an enemy. So I deprioritize crits in that case. But once we get so many items that we don't know what to do with, absolutely we'll, uh, we'll sink a bunch into crits. is especially stuff that procs on crits like crit heals or crit bleeding or whatever like any of that we will absolutely want to pump that up as best we can Yeah, the bandit is new. They just added him a uh, month and change ago? Whatever their most recent major update was. Now we can afford to start dunking items into full stacks here. I'm not quite sure what the max stack size is as far as effectiveness for some of these, but we'll be getting enough of them that it's not going to matter. <laughs> I hope anyways. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have enough money and enough everything else. Let's go get our golden boy. start spending most of our time cleaning up items that have dropped <laughs> than actually playing the level. It's kind of funny. Was that a second mountain too? Awesome. Oh, this is gonna be a fun old battle. Depending on what they give me, and that guy bopped me pretty good for one shot. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Good. Would have preferred to have another equipment drone, but that's all right. Keep up our 
boss damage before we move on. Anything else? Alright, let's go. This is be a double mountain. Uh, <laughs> oh, good. Overloading worms. Uh, this could be a problem. <laughs> These are always scary, no matter how beefy I am. Because they can just wreck shit in an instant. As long as we get at least one of them out of here pretty quick. Okay, there we go. No problem. Sometimes it can be iffy. But we managed that okay. for the tome, but whatever. Another yellow drop out of that, too. Good. Gotta remember to hit the gold portal before we leave. <clears throat> I think the best I've ever done is midway through loop three, before uh, things get exceedingly not pleased. <laughs> we'll see how far we can get with this. This is shaping up to be a pretty good run. Already two full rows of items before we hit the loop. Something else dropped, but I missed it. Okay, there it is. Probably gonna have to work a bit on our total HP count, though. That's looking a little sad. Any tier 2s that drop will grab the infusion. Tier 1s for a bit will focus on the bison steaks. Pretty much anything to give us more total HP. output either, so try to balance it as best we can. <laughs> Wouldn't say no to another tier 3. <laughs> Please RNG be kind. Give us another couple tier 3s. Well, those drops are exceedingly rare. Usually the only ones I manage in a run are the guaranteed ones on level 4. Guaranteed item over here, other side of the archway. And now we'll have our nice golden boy helping us out on boss fights. Not that he'll be much help, honestly, because now these bosses are going to just vaporize on sight. Pretty much. Uh, 
But not mad. 30, 30 minute loop. Two full rows of items. Fairly good balance of items, too. Now we get to start really having fun. I mean, popping one enemy and watching the rest of them just evaporate. Also listening to the item drop sounds. <laughs> Third emplacement? Yeah, whatever. Oh, and a drone and another one behind it. Okay, sure. Not that we need the money for anything else, really. Heard another item drop out of all that, maybe that. No? Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. <laughs> too. It's almost certainly going to be facing down more elites than anything else. If we can get them down to half health, that'd be great. Just a normal ass gunner drone. looking a little bit better. 2,000 total. Wouldn't mind seeing that even higher. It's in a good spot for now.
unfortunately very bad if we get tagged by one or two of them. Nearly at half health for elites. A couple more guillotines and we'll be set. Although I think if we hit stacks in the 20s, then they go down to like a third health or something. Kind of wild. So we might be clear to get out of here though. <laughs> Just had to wait. Had to wait a bit for that to come to pass. And yellow drops this time, unfortunately. Outfitted. Almost three rows of items.
Now would be an ideal time to find another equipment drone. So usually this stage has a whole bunch of them. We still have our first one yet? We do. Okay. Sometimes they can take a beating when I'm not around. particular importance here, so I may as well just move on. Incinerator drone? Eh. Pick it up before we leave. Or maybe just sitting right outside. Oh, up here too. Eventually, we're just gonna have to start ignoring the tier ones <laughs> because there's just gonna be so many of them, and it won't be worth our time going to get them. Is the bandit a drone-centric character? No, not particularly. If anything, I think the engineer is probably the most drone-heavy one. I do like the equipment drones in particular, especially with the uh, the backup call-in, because they, they tend to use it a whole heck of a lot more often than I can. Since that gives you four temporary strike drones to use at the time, it is actually really nice. These guys are kind of angry with me now. To not get bodied by something. Especially these fuckers. These. Oh, jeez. Yeah, exactly. Especially if I get hit with the uh, non healy bits. There we go. <laughs> oh, and these fuckers. Alright, okay. They are now very not happy with me. <laughs> I'm 
sometimes it's the very start of the stage that is the worst. Everything spawns in. You have to get your bearings a little bit. Although here we're guaranteed another tier 3 item. If we find the right stuff. Be ready for that. Okay, now we should probably focus on shielding and barriers and health. Because they're going to try to one-shot me from here on out. up there. Yeah, be aware of what they destroy so we can recover as many of our drones as we can. It's not going to get any easier. It's, it's wild to me that with the amount of just AoE and generally awesome attack we have that we have, haven't already triggered the, the secret boss here. All that shit should have been nice and toasty already, but, well, whatever. Spend a, a few extra seconds looking around. It's all worth it for a, a tier three. some cover fire. Okay, didn't manage to get the second one before he popped his shield. That's right, he'll be dead soon. There. <laughs> okay. I've got to pick out a fancy new tier 3 item. I'm probably going to go with the... oh boy. 
There's so many good ones. I usually just go with the hammer for the second choice, though. Ceremonial dagger always first, because best attack ever. Hammer usually second, because defense reduction is great. And these dudes just melt. <laughs> Excellent. that up there? Another missile drone. Okay. list on the left is getting a little full. <laughs> got, a, got a few things helping us out. Just a few. Alright, now to just clean up the latent items that it might have spawned while I was dicking around. Which there appears to be none. Amazing. Oh, there's one. dropping left, right, and center here. Trying to pick up the, as many of them as we can. Alright, happened to them all. Thought I saw them on the ground somewhere. Incinerator drone. Okay, you back. We didn't lose either of our equipment drones. That's good. Usually, those are the most painful ones to replace since I don't often get equipment drops. I guess it 
this point it doesn't really matter. There's so many items popping everywhere. Scavengers are fun. One of these is going to be a guaranteed 12 item drop, right? Yep, there we go. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen them drop tier 3s. But a good smattering of tier 2s is fine, too. Try to find the teleporter now. <laughs> Enough dicking around. Get out over to loop three. Ah, there it is. <laughs> What's that, like five seconds? Oh. So sad. So sad. Oh, there's another equipment drone up there. Nice, okay. Might just go for that.
make sure we get that equipment thrown. Alright, sitting at almost 5,000 health. Clean up items and move on to loop 3. Drop a second set, did they? No. Kind of wild. Fast enough where if we take uh, too fast to run up even a moderate slope, we're gonna fly off into the sunset. just purely rely on my drones to do the work. But I don't think they proc any of the death effects like I do. As long as I get one or two kills, the rest will follow. tier 1 and 2 item right now. If we don't, we should diversify enough to get that, just because I love seeing the item Let's go into three rows. Yeah, pretty much every tier 1. Probably don't have some of the odd tier 2 ones. the enemies before they just get constructed. Love it.
stealth kit yet. Tier ones. if there is a drone limit that we can have. Whatever it is, I don't think I've ever encountered it. Because usually by the time we do hit the end of loop 2 into two, into loop 3, like, they just don't survive long enough. But I think since the... Since they made tweaks to, um... how your allies gain levels, I think they've been a bit stronger. A bit hardier. out of that whole group. Cheap skates. All right. Are there any other tier twos we don't have? We've got pretty much all of them. So now it's just down to tier threes, which are so few and far between. We've only got the two that we've had in each loop on stage four. fast enough the way it is. We've got like four or five double jumps. Teams that elites are spawning with probably about 40% of their health. Let's get a few more just in case. using a lot of our secondary skill here. But I don't think any enemy is going to have enough health for me to actually make it happen, so... Hmm, might be a lost cause. Well, even so. I'll try it. I'll 
these guys are vaporizing on spawn. Can't get to them to get a shot in edgewise. One goes down, they just all immediately tumble. Kinda love it. So many AoE items active at once. One second at best for those bosses to stick around. <laughs> Quite invincible yet, though. If I get a, if I get a bad spawn and they start hitting me before I can identify where they are, they can probably still one-shot me. 
especially one of these boss idiots. They get a good hit on me and they bleed or burn or something. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be toast. But we just need to be aware. Just need to have some awareness about us and we'll be fine. Because <laughs> usually one kill is enough to clean up the rest. Take a, a 93% blood shrine at the wrong time. <laughs> It'd probably end me pretty quickly. where the teleporter was. It's over there. Oh well. I can't practically fly over there. item drops before I can get my feet off the ground. Terribly threatening when the boss doesn't even have one second of screen time. Hmm. Not. Flat healing when attacked. Okay. <laughs> More survival. That's one of the newer items too. I'm quite aware of what it did.
Oh, I missed that. Don't. <laughs> it matters. Ah, oh, jeez. All right. Well, three sirens calls tonight. That's uh, interesting. See, there we go. We instantly proc the boss this time because our our AOE attacks are just so ridiculously strong. And then he's dead, so we get our free tier three. <laughs> oh my god, amazing! All right, uh, which one do I want now? I think I want Vulture's Wake. Give me the elite powers and all that. Honestly, at this point now, we can just beeline straight for the teleporter, murder the boss, and then clean up whatever items are around. That's really what we should do. Since there's just going to be so many dropping, and we're not really hurting for items the way it is. stuff. Now we can really just concern ourselves with cleaning up items in the teleporter vicinity. And then maybe if we feel like it going to get the other items. It's amazing. We might start ignoring tier ones eventually. We've already super powered ourselves enough that bosses exist for a fraction of a second and then they're gone. <laughs> oh well. Is the thing still alive? <laughs> I can tell if I had murdered it before it got over here or not. Yeah, now our leads are down to about a quarter of their original health. Yeah, 
Okay, scavengers do still exist for more than one second. Not much longer than more than one second, but it's something. <laughs> oh, goodness. I need to stop picking speed items, though. I'm not going to be able to control my movement. your three drop finally. Uh that's the coil. More damage output that I probably don't need. Actually, gotta be careful around those guys. I think there's a, always a one-hit kill, regardless of how much health I have. Definitely nuke all the drones within range. it matters too much if any of my drones take a spill. I've got enough damage output on my own to, to make things work, but... Have been really bad if I'd gotten caught in the middle of that. Luckily, somehow got thrown clear. Okay, what is this, loop three? Grab loop four.
need to fire at all. My lingering daggers and AoE attacks just absolutely vaporize everything. case. <laughs> Is that a tier 3, though? I think it is. Take our time out to go fly over and get it. Yeah, look at that. Wouldn't want to leave that behind. Also, if there's a use item around here, we should grab that, too. Hmm. How about double heals? item somewhere. There we go. And several of them. About an hour and a half in, we're on to loop four. Okay. line to the teleporter and clean up everything afterwards. <laughs> Unless we see like a mountain shrine or something. Then we'll hit those. But at this point, it's not even worth the time hanging around. amount of the teleporter time just picking up incidental item drops.
Oh, there's a scavenger here, apparently. <laughs> Didn't even see him fucking spawn in. Hoi. Oops, that was another speed item. We didn't need that. Here's a buzz with my two dozen drones, it seems. <laughs> Damn it, didn't need that speed item either. Alright, well, gotta go fast, I guess. Standing in place passive heals is kind of silly. Is that $8.99 per tick, pretty much? Lord. Oop, it's level 2 2 behind. That wouldn't have gone well. Better choices, though. Some items out here while we were just running around.
<clears throat> hey, Rebecca Weapon, how you doing? Good to see you. Oh. oh, yeah, we've been at the point of uh, things dying on spawn for a couple stages now. Just now we've kind of hit it for the actual boss spawns, though. <laughs> That's always amusing. It's just like, oh no, a big scary fight incoming. Oh, no, never mind. It, 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 go it went. <laughs> it came and went. Oh, there was a mountain thing that I didn't hit. Foo. Not like it matters. <laughs> Not like it matters. I don't think they can throw a normal boss fight at me that will even make any difference now. Certainly this is what, loop four? Surprised we haven't hit three rows of items yet. I guess we just need a couple more tier threes. Instead of just stacking on what we got in order to make that happen. Maxed out our. Oh, actually, no, there's one more tier two I can get that I haven't gotten yet. Well, we lost a couple drones in that melee somewhere. That terribly matters. We can hold our own. It's still rather disappointing. Quick round two. Ooh. <laughs> All right, it's just the red wood. It's the only one we didn't have. There we go. There's our third row started. Really? I think it matters if we have two of the gold dude things anyways, it only spawns just the one. Oh, no, never mind. There's one right there. <laughs> For 231,000. Well, good thing we've got plenty of money. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna sit here and let this play out. <laughs> There's so much. There's so much going on that we don't need to do anything. I might fire once to kill a dude and just kick off a chain reaction. Or twice, or three times, whatever.
<laughs> oh wow, did survive for more than a second. Good for him. The most resilient one thus far. Oh, I think it's very funny. Are you kidding me? This is great. For all the times I've gotten one shot in this game, I love seeing the shoe on the other foot, finally. Alright, so I know there was that big one. That big drone back near the, the portal. I want to see if there's a, a second one hanging around here. How did an enemy drop an item over here? <laughs> oh my goodness. They dropped. It's kind of moving at random to <laughs> to see what we get out of the lottery here. Oh, except I don't. I really don't need any more speed items. I'm already super fast. Really unnecessary to get any more. Goat hooves or energy drinks. I'm sure I'm gonna get a couple more accidentally. Jesus, look at how fucking fast that jump is. Vump! <laughs> uh, there is an item over here. at least three items drop out of that. There's one. There's two. There's three. Yeah. Oh, and another tier three. Excellent. Okay. Worth it. Uh, hmm. Uh, which is the one? I think this is the one that gives me barrier on overheal, right? I guess we'll just have to wait for it to cycle through on my item pickups there. To be sure. Oops, I just got another hoof. <laughs> what the? Wow. Good, good try, that like six scavengers. <laughs> good try. Good try. And I just totally blacked out on what shrine I activated there. That's why I was surprised that there were enemies. <laughs> Oops. Oops, there's another goat hoof. Oops, there's another energy drink. Don't need those. Okay, I believe that's everything. Let's go. Go to loop four, stage four, and get another guaranteed um, tier three. Siren's call again. Kind of wild to have that consistently.
Well, that's alright. Get these dudes around anyway to get our tier 3. Bonk, bonk, bonk. <laughs> the sound is having a hard time keeping up with everything that's proccing at once. Fucking love it. Alright, well, what's our next choice here? Um, I don't know what the skull one is. Kills reduce equipment cooldown. Oh, okay. <laughs> kind, of, kind of worthless, honestly. But alright. Go with it. Okay, where's the teleporter? Let's get out of here. There it is. And then they're dead. Yeah, Clover wouldn't have been a bad idea. The missile thing, though. The the bazooka in the top right, I think, right? That makes every attack explosive. Yeah, it wouldn't have been a bad choice, either. Six drones. <laughs> Get some of them back here. Probably a couple turrets too, but the turrets are less important. heal now. Jeez. I think we're just gonna keep stacking that until we do a full full level heal pretty much just by standing still for a fraction of a second. we have now one two three four I don't even think they can pop the equipment I'm giving them because that's another four drones I wonder if we hit the limit probably by now we had to have because I haven't seen any of them pop any of the strike drones in forever oh no my big boy got nuked oh oh well survived for like half a stage that, like, 11,000 gold? That's not even worth popping them anymore. Gilded Coast, sure.
There's a scavenger over here too. <laughs> Keyword was. Ooh, that's a challenge. Yoink. Hmm. You know what? Let's take a quick scan around for more of those. Usually they stick out pretty well. It's oh, a combat shrine. How many loops am I gonna do? I don't know. I'm just gonna keep looping. I'm gonna keep looping until I get bored, until the game crashes, or until I get one shot. <laughs> or maybe like another half an hour or so. Because <laughs> that's probably going to be when I get bored. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, I'll take the thing of a ding. Oh, the beetle guards. I don't really care for those, do I? Because I would, I would estimate at this point the final boss will be pretty easy. Even the, even the section that strips you of all your items, it's going to be super easy. If I hang on to my use item and I've already got, what, 4,800 base health, it should be enough to see me through. And if some of my drones survive, then it's just going to be super easy anyways. Gonna ignore tier ones that aren't directly in our way. See that we're not missing any randomly dropped tier threes. Pick up any drones and turrets that we see. Pop off a combat shrine or two. Just like that, we've got five and a half million buckos. <laughs> incredible. Honestly, incredible. The last 
something. Lost a drone in the melee there somewhere. So now I'm gonna see it amongst all the corpses. Oh, there's one. Another one. Of course, it's the incinerator drone. Though. Boo. Okay, loop five. Interesting with the uh, with the heal overcharging into a barrier. Just standing still keeps my barrier at full because of all the fucking passive mushroom healing I've got. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's a ridiculous synergy that they probably need to rebalance. Tier ones are tripling up on each other. Just incredible. Millions of buckos at the end. Hardly moves the meter on our level ups. Oh, 
Don't have enough money for that. Wow, 324,000. Well, we'll have enough soon. There we go. <laughs> uh, hi, hilarious. Away if you're photosensitive, my goodness. Spawn in and then immediately get vaporized. You know, I wonder if a stack next is out at 99. I guess we're gonna find out. laugh quite heartily if it went into triple digits. Just to max out the stack, supposedly. Ooh, nice. Two free drop. Uh, Alright, so what were we talking about before? Uh, yeah, the clover. Clover and then the explodey thing. The clover just increases the chances of proccing pretty much everything, so we're gonna have so many more items <laughs> again. Oi. Find the teleporter. Jeez. We popped two on the way over here, right? There, that all looks good. Jeez, look at that radius. Not quite entire level covering, but pretty close.
something over here to pick up. The gunner drone. <laughs> Sure, we're gonna max out that mushroom stack before we leave here. 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Alright, so we're gonna cap at 99 as you're gonna let us go triple digits. Find another white. There we go. It lets us go triple digits. <laughs> Wild. Well, I don't think we need any more of those, though. Let's see what the radius is on it. Jesus, look at that. Plus it's doing, what, 63, almost 6,400 heals? On me? Lord. That's a lot. That's many heals. Several heals, in fact. What does all that money get me? Like, 1% of a level? Very good. <laughs> oh goodness, it's really hard to see where these things are now. pop up and get in my way and then their corpses just block out everything. Oh, and now they're dead. <laughs> oh, good gravy. Yeah, just a bunch of tier 1s and tier 2s. Kill them to drop another tier 3 for me. I mean, they're already dead, so nothing would kill them, but it'd be nice if they were nice to me. Stacking up something else now. Maybe we'll max out crits. Max out crits and guillotines and... I don't know. It really doesn't matter at this point. We could select pretty much anything and still be at top form. Be hitting stage four again soon here, right? This one. I 
Hey, look at that. Tier 3. Uh, alright, now explodey rounds. <laughs> Come on, I just cleaned up around here. <laughs> Come on. I'm never gonna get anywhere if I go for all these. Oh, and hey, another tier 3 drop. Um, uh, hmm. This one. I don't remember what that one does, but I think it has something to do with cooldowns. And, oh, it gives me two more third level cooldown, or two more uh, tertiary skills, and uh, does something with the other cooldowns, I think. Alright, I need to get out of here. These tier 1s are not worth nothing. <laughs> Great. There's so many of them. Alright, we're done. We're done over there. Oh, well, shot ourselves off the top of the map. Good job. There it is. I mean, credit where due, there's a lot going on here, and it's, uh, the game's hanging in. It's doing the work. It's getting, it's getting a little power pointy at times, but, uh, oh, hey, another tier 3 drop. Beautiful. Um, brain stocks? I don't know what those do. Maybe we should not loot again. <laughs> Maybe we should just carry this to completion now. Five loops. Five loops, and then we can see what the final boss is going to try to do against us. My guess is going to be not much. <laughs> Despite taking all our items in the final phase, my guess is not going to be not much. Alright, I'm not even going to go clean up the rest of the items. Fuck it. What is even the point? Here we are, stage 4 again, so guaranteed 2-3. <laughs> oh god. Amazing. Did it do its thing already? Did we get our tier 3 item out of that? Oh no, not yet. But soon. Look at that one blast would have broken enough shit that we could, uh. 
get the dude in here to do his thing, but maybe not. This one I'm gonna back off for. Oh, I took out two turrets, I think. Amazing. <laughs> oh, mercy. Oh, in one of my equipment drones, huh? around here somewhere. Alright, well I find it real hard to believe that we didn't uh, proc the, the secret boss and get our tier 3, but we'll have a look around first. Maybe there was so much going on that they couldn't spawn the eggs in? That would be weird. And also sad. Because I want my free tier 3. Not that, we, not that we don't have enough of them already, but... Yeah, it's like it didn't spawn. I didn't get the message about the loud whirring either, so... Hmm. Well, maybe we just move on. We don't really need it. Collect the remainder of these tier twos and be on our way. So many of them. Gravy. One ultra distance kill and everything else just mm, evaporates. Like it never existed. Alright, there's so many particle effects, I can't see where the teleporter is. Come on. I'm 
the shrine. My goodness. All right. So this is what five loops will do. Oh, oh, I'm not standing in the middle of one of those, am I? Okay, good. <laughs> Take the shit. Lost a couple drones out of that. Saw a scavenger bag over there. Yeah, okay. We'll grab that before we go. Five loops. Five loops in. Where did he just end this? <laughs> Two and a half hour run. Could in theory die if I'm not watching where I'm standing, so kind of stay alert. That in the first third of this thing, ridiculous. Oh, that was a stutter. <laughs> oh, that was like a, a good second and a half of the game doesn't know what to do. <laughs> uh, hilarious.
against you. Scanning this field of items for any tier 3s. None, though. A shame. Okay, we gotta get out in the open. <laughs> oh, fucking wild. two pillars we need. There. Good. Yeah, they did redesign the, the final level leading up to the boss to do these little pillar things. Ooh, this could actually be a little scary. This is the blood pillar, I think, right? Yeah. Well, as long as we stay still, we'll still regen. Or maybe not. Oh, jeez. Oh, but it does charge quick. There's so many things. There we go. <laughs> Oh, raining everything. Alright, and then one more. Oh, there's a second blue pillar here. Okay. I do like these very quick charging. Whew, okay, 145 million. <laughs> 148, 149, 150. Jesus. Well, 158 million buckos. <laughs> Alright, let's go take care of some business. Good gravy. Hmm. <laughs> All right, I might have to fire once or twice. <laughs> One of them was a chomp and went down just like immediately. This guy's showing a little bit more spirit. He's got spirit, yes he does. There. <laughs> Alright, first phase is uh. <laughs> Second phase is uh. <laughs> Third phase is showing some spirit. Not much. Not showing much spirit there, but some. Oh, I can't I can't use my drones. Oh he's dead already! Oh shit! <laughs> I thought 
I was wondering when the fa final phase was gonna start. <laughs> okay. Amazing. Just amazing. I figured he would still do his whole, uh, steal my items bit, but apparently we just fucking skipped right through it. Amazing. Simply incredible. Now we just pretty much wait this one out. drones there. That's terribly important anymore. <laughs> and we're gone. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, I'm really surprised that the game held its own and did not crash. Because <laughs> there was definitely a couple times when it had to think about what it was doing. Oh. Well, five loops. Five loops was at two and a half hours. Okay, we don't need to see the end sequence. We already saw that. Just look at our Jesus. <laughs> Let's take a little screenshot of that real quick. Real fucking quick. There we go. Yep, yeah, two and a half hours. Almost 10,000 kills, 650 million damage dealt. <laughs> 147 million <laughs> on one fucking hit at some point. Oh, good gravy. That is something. That is something. That's a lot of items, too. Let's see. 5, 10, 20, 25. 50, 70 different items, and then, gosh, who knows how many. Does it tell me how many? I have almost a thousand. <clears throat> almost a thousand total items. We should have picked up a couple more just to round it out, but oh well. Whew! <clears throat> Alright, well, definitely one of the better runs we've had. <laughs> but that'll do it for today. We've, we've had our fun with our with our five loop run there. Uh, next stream will be tomorrow night, 7 p.m. CDT. Uh, Sunday long play. We're done with CrossCode. We finished up the DLC last week. Uh, so we are going to slip Spelunky 2 back into our Sunday long plays. Uh, try to do some super secret ending runs or whatever the fuck it is. Cosmic Ocean, I think, right? Um, no guarantees I'll be able to do it because that's uh, perhaps beyond my current level of execution. But we'll, we'll give it a go anyways because Spelunky 2 is a fun game. And then Monday night, 7 p.m. CDT, we'll be back with... Curse of the Dead Gods, same on Wednesday, 7 p.m. CDT, more Curse of the Dead Gods. And then next week, Thursday, 7.30 p.m. CDT, Shmup Book Club, Soundvine, uh, Super Swiv, or Rayforce. Probably Rayforce. Probably done with Swiv. Uh, but that'll do it for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.